Hi everyone, my name is Chantelle and welcome to another video. A couple of weeks ago I got a very positive response on a matchbox diorama I created. So I thought, let's make this a series. Let's make this a big series. As you all know, I absolutely love everything related to Harry Potter. In the coming 50 months, yes, 50 months, on every first Friday of the month, you will see me create a Harry Potter matchbox diorama. The matchboxes are a little bit larger than your standard small box, and I will create these boxes myself, so I don't end up with copious amounts of matches. If you want to try make this diorama yourself or are interested in the products I'm using, check out the link to my Amazon shop front. I will also leave the website and the dimensions for the box in the description box below. So in this first month, I'll be creating a shop that we all know and love in Diagonelli, Ollivander's Wand Shop. For the other 49 months, I have appointed a wooden box to keep my prompts in. I have selected Harry Potter universe related locations or buildings and will be creating them at random by picking one from the box every month. But without further ado, let's get into creating Ollivander's Wand Shop in the Matchbox. As you can see, I've cut out all the windows with a craft knife and here I am creating the large shop front windows. I made guidelines so I know where to cut and then cut out all the little windows. When that is done, I cut a piece of acetate to size and glue it behind the window frame to make it look like glass. Before I glue the windows into place, I am painting the entire outside of the matchbox cover black with acrylic paint. I then glue the large windows into place and put acetate behind the smaller windows. To make these windows part of the storefront, I paint the window frames with acrylic paint. You can also do this for the larger windows, however this will give a different effect. With that done, I glue half circles cut out of black cardstock to the top and the base of the domed windows to finish them. I decided I want the matchbox to open like a book. It's still a matchbox, but of course you can modify it in whatever way you want. I cut off the glue strip and paint the inside of the cover and the sides of the inside box black. The shop front has steps that go up to the door, so that's what I'm making here from cardboard and painting it black with acrylic paint. Underneath the large windows there are these bars kind of things. If this miniature was 1 12th scale I would have used skewers but in this case I cut it out of black cardstock and glued it into the half circle following the window frame which worked pretty well. Thank you. 
To give the shop front some more dimension, I'm dry brushing some off-white acrylic paint on the raised areas and adding the illusion of bricks by painting them on in certain places. Simple but effective. Can you see me doing this with the tiny little egg carton bricks that I've used in other projects? Yeah, I don't think so. And of course, we cannot forget the wonderful gold lettering. I'm using gold acrylic paint and a very tiny paintbrush. There is one thing left for the shop front and that's an Ollivander sign. I used the end of a wooden skewer as a sign holder. I cut out circles from black cardstock which I will glue together to give the sign more dimension. Then I attach a small metal chain, draw on the Ollivander's logo and attach the metal chain to the skewer. We'll come back to this sign later. Now it's time to put the inside of the box together. I glue the inside box to the inside cover. Trim off the side corners and attach a magnet to the side of the box and the flap of the cover so the matchbox can snap close. With a black marker I make sure that all the sides of the matchbox are black. Here you can see what I've drawn up for the interior of the shop. I took inspiration from the movies and the books and this will be my own interpretation of the shop. I cut watercolor paper to size to see how it fits inside the box. I start by painting the floor of the shop and make it look like wooden floorboards. I use watercolors for this. Then I paint the ceiling and the right side wall of the interior black with acrylic paint. I sketched out what I wanted in the background before going in with pen and line art and the watercolors. You can also see me painting the side panel at the same time. I painted the individual one spaces basic colors which is the underpainting. I then paint the brown for the cabinet and add more color to the wand boxes.
After that is all dry, I glue in the back and the side to finish this part up. But we're not done yet. Out of some thick cardboard that came from the back of a block of paper, I'm going to create an extra wall that gives this piece a bit more dimension. I draw and paint on the same one boxes and glue this piece into the box. From a piece of simple writing paper I'm going to create a tiny book and some leaflets that are hanging on the wall. I curl the pages to make it look more authentic. From the same thick cardboard that I used for the wall, I'm going to create stairs and a landing. I paint the stairs and the landing with the same watercolor paints I used for the background. From paper I make the handrail for the stairs. This was a tedious thing to do, but I'm so happy with the result. I glued this on with PVA glue by using a toothpick.
Finally, I had to create a table as that is one of the first things that Harry sees when he walks into the Ollivander shop in the very first movie. To put this all together, I glued the stairs and the landing inside the shop. I placed the book on the table and finally glued the Ollivander sign to the front of the matchbox. And this is it for the very first Harry Potter matchbox diorama. I probably put way too much time into this little thing but I really like how it looks. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials, support me on Patreon and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.